Okay, so Adam 22 just clowned the hell out of Sean Evans. He clowned the hell out of him. And in that process, Sean Evans ended his relationship on Valentine's Day. So, if you don't know who Sean Evans is, he's uh, the guy in the picture there, okay? And this is Adam22. Adam22 runs a YouTube channel. Also, he runs another website where he and his wife have fun with other ladies. <laughs> he was the one that went viral for allowing the six foot something tall 13 inch black man have fun with his wife <laughs> okay guys no, you know, know who he is now okay now apparently he posted a comment under Sean Evans picture it says congratulations her <clears throat> is fire being in the industry He's worked with her before. Ain't that the most disrespectful thing to say? One of, at least. Like, yo, man, that's a jab. That is a damn joke and a dig at Sean Evans. I got a question, by the way. Like, why do these famous guys end up dating adult film stars. Why? Like, I could never do that. I don't understand that. I don't know anything about Sean Evans' story. I, I, I don't know if he's a guy that never got girls and then once he's famous, that's when he got them. Like, I, is he just a super freak? Um, apparently, but I, I like, I've never understood it. <laughs> Um, but if you watch certain red pill guys, you know, they kind of talk about too much too fast, too soon. You know, some of these young guys, they become really super successful early, plenty of money. And a lot of times it throws them into this whole arena, this whole life that they never really would have. But you run into so many different people and you get, man, that would never be me. I, I just don't understand <laughs> how these guys do that. Well... He broke it off with her, and Adam22 has a response for him. Hey, Sean Evans, you know what I'm not feeling? I'm not feeling you breaking a sex worker's heart on Valentine's Day. Nobody deserves that. Melissa Stratton, she's a beautiful woman. He helped yes, cause it. She has chosen to have sex on camera for her career. Yes, she has had 13 inches in and around her face, mouth, possibly butthole. I don't know. I gotta go search it up. But you are playing with her heart, and that's not cool, because she's a woman. And Valentine's Day is a sacred holiday, and you're supposed to treat girls right on Valentine's Day. Sean, I don't know why I have to tell you this. I feel like, you know, your parents probably should have told you this at a certain point, but uh, Sean, you really don't want to smoke with the sex worker community, so I would appreciate if you would apologize to Melissa Yo. for publicly shaming her on Valentine's Day, the sacredest of days, and then also I would like to invite you to come and lay something down on the plug talk couch. Let's see what you're packing. Good Lord. I think he invites everybody to come <laughs> lay it down. <laughs> Yo, right? At the end of the day, from what, I've, uh, uh, what I'm understanding is that, you know, people are like super clowning them, basically saying, well, you're the, you the one that chose to date her, knowing what she did. And, you know, there's some people saying, well, that's not really fair and this and that. And Adam shouldn't have said what he said. I think two things can be right at the same time or wrong at the same time. Um, when you date certain people, especially if they're famous, you take on the responsibility of dealing with certain things. If you're going to date a president, you're going to have to deal with certain things. A movie star. A singer, anyone with any amount of fame, there is some things that comes with it. And both of them are famous. 
I, I just, well, how about you post comments down below and you let me know what you all think about this situation. Uh, was Adam 22 wrong? I think he was wrong. Um, and at the same time, I wouldn't be dating that type of film star because I know what comes with that. The, I mean, just posting pictures with him. You know how many jokes and jabs, even hatred you're going to get? Good Lord. Like, I don't understand. I mean, look, I'm a guy. I've seen some of these girls perform. Some of them, it's like, okay, she just looks good. She's not really talented at that. I don't know. Well, I don't think I've ever seen her before. But it, having said that, why not just get a quote unquote regular girl that you get along with? You got know what I'm saying? <laughs> that makes sense, right? Why deal with all of that? I, I just, it just, I, I highly just don't believe that she's some diamond in the rough that he just had to date and just, just no one able to replace her. Everyone's replaceable to an extent. Yes, they're not exactly you, but everyone's replaceable. Post comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. If you enjoyed my thoughts on this, hit the like button, subscribe, and ciao.